you are still watching ways now world maritime day is celebrated annually on the last thursday of september it is an international day to recognize the importance of the maritime industry and its contributions to the global economy and society the maritime industry is responsible for transporting over 90 percent of global trade it also plays a vital role in the global food supply chain and the energy sector the tourism industry world maritime day was established by the international maritime organization in 1978 the imo that's international maritime organization is the specialized agency of the united nations responsible for regulating the maritime industry very very important day this is the people that ensures that we're able to um, first of all connect globally to yeah. different trades different um, what's it called different economies mm -hmm. you know this is the people if we had something to export and give us forex these are the people that would have helped us to export it yeah they also I mean, the people and you know for a country that has that is surrounded by water i think we can do a lot more in terms of international trade we just mm -hmm. need to be very very um what's it called intentional about um deriving income revenue from other sectors outside mm -hmm. of you know oil so well i also think that while i mean we applaud them on what they are doing so far for you know transport um what's it called exports and whatnot i think they also need to do much more work with clearing our seas and the lakes like you know um, I, I believe they are also in charge of clearing out the hydrates and sure, all, all so those things. So it's that, just to make sure that we have um, safer oceans. That's what yeah, they safer mean. oceans, seas, yeah, lakes. I'm sure they would have, and that's why the IMO has policies. Those are the people that's where the United Nations come in, mm -hmm. you know, because those are the people that would ensure that you know safe. Um, what's it called? Whatever it is that Refuge. you're using, yes, safe. Um, uh, what's the word now? Safe, safer. Um, no, fields. That is that powers those um what's it called those massive ships is not harmful to what's it called the, the, the sea creatures, sea creatures and yeah. all of that. So all that balance. That's where I think those agencies come in to make sure that they are monitoring, you know, and they are complying. Right. Because we really need this. There's a lot going on, especially with global warming and mm -hmm. and what's it called our climate change and all of that. So there's nothing. I'm happy that our vice president was uh, is was appointed chairman of I think the climate change board or something like that. I'm happy. So I mean, it's 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 something that is all tied up. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I get you. Yes. I am sure that that's why they they have those agencies to control and regulate to ensure that you know our water is safer and cleaner and you know it's also safe for the creatures in there. Yeah. yeah. You like dolphins. I want to go and swim with dolphins. I love one day. dolphins. Where, is there a dolphin in Nigeria? Have you seen really? a dolphin in Nigeria? I, I, I don't know. I'm asking. <laughs> when, 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 when you want to go and swim with dolphins, is in Nigeria? I want to swim with the dolphins. Ah. So you are planning a trip. You have exposed yourself to one. Face your one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you find for us in the news, um, Mary? Okay. Um. Former American tennis player Serena Williams asserts that she does not celebrate her birthday because she belongs to the Jehovah Witness section. Although she turned 42 on Tuesday, September 26, Williams will not be celebrating her birthday as her family does not believe in that tradition. Tennis Up to Date reports, reports that the 23-time Grand Slam champion and her sister Venus Williams were raised as Jehovah Witnesses, a subsect of Christianity, as they both followed their mother Orasin, Orasin Price in converting to the religion in the early 1980s. An important aspect of the belief is that those who practice the religion do not celebrate their birthdays. On multiple occasions, Williams has spoken about her religious beliefs, and she has said, being a Jehovah Witness is important to me, but I've never really practiced it and have been wanting to get into it. She said this in 2017. So mm. interesting. that's interesting. Jehovah's Witness doesn't, I mean, this is not to like paint bad of any religion or any family of faith, but I don't think they wear accessories. And I don't no, think they, they wear do. makeup. No, it is. Uh, they, huh? they wear simple. You say, wait, 
Abige. <laughs> I have plenty of Are you plenty. sure? Like core uh, that were that were uh -huh. jewelry. I thought the English. She way. doesn't. It's a uh, deeper life. It's not. Jewelry. Okay. It's okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. My, my apologies. Was so when this thing was a root shock to me when I was in university, because mm. my friends, I mean, they were. I was just wondering, like every time you know, it's bed, they just they just keep mm. quiet. I said, what's happening? That was when I now understood their yeah. principles and their um, laws and all of that. They don't celebrate birthdays. So Why? I was quite shocked to see that Serena Williams yeah. was like, okay, oh, Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. But she should go out and be preaching. It's not just to say, not celebrate. I, I need to see her on the streets. Now that's what Jehovah's Witness is supposed to be about. It's about going to spread the gospel. It's about going. I mean, they were the. They were the ones that really, really share the pamphlets. Um, that really, really uh, was they're big pushed, on evangelism. Yes, they yeah. pushed the propagation, the what's it called, the evangelical, like door to door evangelism and all of that. That's mm -hmm. what they are about. So, yes, they will knock on your door, you know. Oh yeah, <laughs> my director say yes. Share your <laughs> share that, the pamphlet. I, I mean, do you know the reason for the birthday? So I, they don't believe in Christmas as well. You know, because again, Christmas is celebrating the birthday of Jesus, right? Don't, mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. Any I, 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 I think Abigail explained it to me, but sadly, in my mind, I've actually forgotten why. Okay. But they don't just celebrate birthdays. I mean, it's not a big deal for me. I'm not big on birthday celebration no, either. No, I kind of do it for different. like tradition. Okay, take a picture, put it out there. Just it's my birthday. Thank you. This like, one, they don't even mention it. They don't acknowledge it. If you tell them oh, about no. the birthday, they don't reply. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. No. They don't acknowledge <laughs> That's that That's extreme, day. please. I need to find out why. Mm. I, 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 I See, my friends actually, they will beat me up because they actually explained it to me, but I forgot it. In case you know the meaning, you can call and tell us. <laughs> yeah, please. But Serena, I was just shocked to see that Serena was... Same, same. Yeah. yeah, and that she's actively practicing yeah, it. Oh, interesting. Preach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm coming back to the city of Abuja. Mm. Where uh, the current Minister of Works, uh, David Umahi, has uh, locked down his staff, or rather his staff, you know, according to the news, that they were always late to work, government workers. And so he would come to the office before them, and so on this certain day, he locked them out of work, and because they resumed late for work, and now the, the staff ended up protesting, so they, in return, locked up the venue, and they were chanting, like it's a crowd, it's not even like five or ten people. I'm talking like fifty, maybe up to a hundred people outside with cameramen capturing them, and they were chanting, He must go, you <laughs> he must go. And the reason is they accused him that since he came into office, he's been high-handed, you know. Um, yeah, they accused him of high-handedness, you know. So and I was going through, of course, Instablog is all about the comments. I was going through the comments and a lot of people were like, is this the Nigeria that we want? I mean, we, we, we should be applauding him, or, or rather the staff should be applauding him for the fact that, you know, he shows up to work at 8 a.m. And so everybody should copy that. That's like trying to be an exemplary leader. But instead, you show up at 9 or 10 and, well, you're locked outside as a penalty for being late. And in retaliation, you lock up everywhere. Now, the minister... He was stuck in his office. Wow. <laughs> he can't go out, and nobody can go in. And then people are protesting outside, mm. shouting, "He must go!" Mm. How do you handle that? Nigeria, say, you see, I think <laughs> no, I really want to hear what you have to say about this. <laughs> see, I have a headache. <laughs> Honestly, I have a headache for this country. Like, it, it's it's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Because um, even when you try, and this is why, <laughs> <laughs> like you would this think it's why, something no, applaudable no, this is he's why doing. You see a lot of people when they go into offices, they don't even want to bother to re to change anything. Yeah. You know why? Because when you decide to say you want to do, hmm. be the different, be the change, and all yeah. of that, you are castigated for being good. It's almost like we've gotten so used to bad manners that it is difficult. You know, it will take. See, it will take the grace of God. Because you see, all this one we are shouting, government, oh, we, government, government change and all of that. The problem, <laughs> the problem lies with us. I agree. Do you understand? You mm -hmm. must be ready to, because imagine that you have someone that has the power to change certain things to your favor. Would you be calm enough to let it not go in your favor? Right. Not, I mean, a lot of times we preach and we talk from two sides of our mouth. You understand? So mm -hmm. it's a hard thing. Nigeria's matter, eh? Headache. And I'm not about to give myself mm -mm. headache. So then you're not. No, 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 no. I have a headache, truly. I'm sure you saw me pouring water on my head. 
Yes, it's just sad. I mean, I would applaud no, him for being an so exemplar. I don't know if they have my video. There's a video I wanted to play. It's um, a dispatch rider. If they can play it as an SF, it's fine. Mm -hmm. So, so this dispatch rider actually, apparently, had gone. Um, he, he saw a car. He had already attempted, and he successfully opened the car. So he now went back and came back. So it was the narration from the video that you mm -hmm. know, I understood what was going on. Apparently this dispatch rider parked his bike because people were passing, so he was pretending like he was doing something. Yeah. And he then eventually went inside the car. And when he got inside the car, he was able to, you know, he had gone before, according to the video, he had gone before, he had come back, he had already successfully opened the car. The car. Mm -hmm. so he was coming back home and finished what he started. So he then opened the, the car. And then, um, what's it called? Entered, and I think he stole the brain box. Of, is, yeah, they call it the brain box. Of yeah. The car. It's a Toyota Highlander. It's a, the newer model. Oh. Yes. Toyota, a big SUV. It's black. I wish they had yeah. the video to show. Now, the, the story is actually quite scary for me. You know, we've been talking about all of these issues around when you ban this, there is a ripple effect. Mm -hmm. So what we've seen now is those people that used to rob on bikes, They've just shifted their gears because this guy clearly is an arm drop, right? But is disguised as a dispatch rider. So the guy, the guy in the video is saying that we should be careful who we give our, our goods to. First of all, when I use dispatch riders, I actually use um, the ride hailing services that are very known, mm -hmm. right? So I believe in my head that the companies have done due diligence yeah. to be able to, you know, um, get them to to deliver, mm -hmm. right? But I'm just saying now, I think more than ever before, the government should look into regu regulating that sector. Because when they banned Okada, we saw an influx of dispatch riders. And this one is, you just see somebody just put a box, is a dispatch rider. Yeah. No name company, no brand name. So yeah. I, I, and I think, you know, now more than ever before, bigger companies, bigger logistics companies, brands and all of that, if you're... If you are not maybe reaching to a certain level, maybe they should just collapse all those people. Go and join the bigger companies. People will say, oh, you are killing businesses. But that, yeah, but you can't regulate it. Because now, if you we are having... Yes. Harry now being a dispatch yes, It means that a, anybody can just buy the bike, put a box, and pretend like it's a dispatch rider going round and doing, causing but, a lot of but things. But don't they have... Um like proper registrations because i know that they sometimes do. that's what i'm saying to you sometimes those um i don't know now because touts as well tax them you know have, have you seen sometimes where well, they're, all, that they're all parked? the touts never tax the big company um, um dispatch riders they don't touch them i've seen them Actually, harass people they don't touch I the i haven't seen uh, so i don't know what, whether to mention brands but they don't touch the big um logistics company no you say they don't so usually it is these no-name people that they touch. So it is even better for the government to just look into it and collapse it. Because I'm saying that it's a security threat. Yeah. Because this guy, if you watch the video, he successfully took out the brain box. I just put it inside his, um, his box and he drove off. It was the CCTV camera across the building. Mm. You understand? That I caught it. it. So it was wow. from the, the, the silent, the film that I saw online was the CCTV camera. You know showing what had happened so we really must be we really must choose what we want mm -hmm. you know but at it, as it stands now they are a big threat they are a big threat and they need to really scrap them so on that note to we'll take a break That's scary very scary we'll take a break when we come back from that break let's have a conversation stay with us we'll be right back